Hey, day 259, Coffee with Kenny. I'm Kenny Keller, the creator of Helicopter Online Ground School, and today I want to do some review of some of these dynamic rollovers you see on YouTube. We've got a lot of theory with dynamic rollover we've done on YouTube and, of course, inside Helicopter Online Ground School. But let's look at some of these videos that are on YouTube of a, a dynamic rollover, not to make fun, but just to maybe try to learn a little bit of something. I just picked some random videos I found on a quick YouTube search. I'll put the links down below for the original creators where these videos came from on YouTube. Let's check out this one. His pickup looked pretty good. A little rush there, but all in all, not too bad. But then all of a sudden, a bunch of sideways movement here. I don't know what the purpose of that was, and that's why we always preach stop, turn, stop, turn, stop, turn. Boom, catches the skid, boom. So as you can see, pretty obvious what happened here. No, uh, it's not rocket science. The guy was sliding sideways. Got too low. I don't know what else to say other than he just got too low. And boom, helicopter flips right on over. Now this one, many of you have probably seen. This one's been around for many years, but it's kind of a good one. Here's an experimental at home, out in the backyard. Right there, look at that. There was time to get that collective down, and look at, look at how that thing's hinging. There's still time. Then there's that point where it's just gone. Again, I don't want to make fun because it's, you know, tragic. Nobody wants to lose their aircraft. Oh, have you seen this one? I know it's not a very good quality video, but I got to show this one. Look at these geniuses. I mean, the, I remember the first time I saw this, I'm like, what are these guys getting ready to do here? Off they go and boom over. I'm not, I guess that's dynamic rollover, but what were they thinking? Here's one more. Now this, look at that. That looks rushed right from the start. Spinning just an inch or two off the ground. Rushed, boom, over, just like that. And the thing you can see, it's not smooth, slow pickups, or slow, slow smooth set down. It's maneuvering around and just not being freaking careful. All right, let's look at this one one more time just because I think it's a great learning tool. Hubbard looks pretty stable. Um, coming down, coming down, and I don't know what's going on here. Uh, just indecision, I guess, would be the first thing I would say. So there you go. You know, we talk about the theory all the time, and I just thought one time we'd share some of the videos that we all see on YouTube, and just to get you in the mindset, if, if dynamic rollover hasn't been on your mind lately, maybe it should be, or if you're brand new to this and you're just starting out and you're learning, Dynamic rollover is real. It's something that happens and something you have to really be aware of. So if nothing else, hopefully I've made you think just a little bit today. If you haven't reviewed dynamic rollover recently, whether you're brand new or you're an experienced pilot, I preach all the time in Helicopter Line Ground School about what I was taught early on when I was learning to fly and a, you know, an older instructor, super experienced guy sat down and said, Kenny, you have got to learn to do this in a two-step process with the pickups, and you've got to be careful setting down because experienced pilots roll these aircraft over from dynamic rollover, and I never forgot that, and I'm glad I got that spanking that day when I was brand new, right? Because, you know, nobody likes, you know, being told in that sense necessarily, but I'm glad he did. I'm like, you know, it was early on, and it, I was just getting the check out, right? And when he's like, I want you to think about this. Experienced pilots roll these things over from not using a good two-step process. And I think in the videos you've seen today, kind of sloppy. That rotorway wasn't too bad, but a couple of those others, why? Why hover sideways? That's why you don't want to do it. Stop, clear your tail, turn, move over here. Stop, clear your tail, move over here. And that one at the end, that I think it was a 407, what was that pickup? You know, just sloppy all the way around. Up to a nice hover, stabilize, clear tail, and start doing what you got to do. All right, leave a comment down below. What do you think? Tell us about uh, dynamic rollover. Tell us about when was the last time you studied it. Or is, is it fresh in your mind what to do if you'd get in one of those situations? So do us a favor, subscribe, click the bell, leave us a comment down below, and we'll see you in day 260. Peace out.